Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. While Cody didn't want to admit it, Janelle from Sister Wives claims that the Brown family was always headed toward collapse. During the Sister Wives Look Back episode on Friday, Mary Brown expressed her belief that a combination of things contributed to the demise of the Brown family, from a mile away, Janelle Brown could see the end of her once happy polygamous relationship. The reality star answered a fan who questioned why her now ex-husband Cody Brown is still so angry when it seems like he's getting what he wanted, which is a life of monogamy with his only remaining wife Robin Brown, as the Brown family reflected on where things went wrong during Friday's Sister Wives Talk Back episode. I will say, there was a lot of time that what Cody really wanted was this big, unified family, Janelle, 54, recalled. We made the decision to have the kids treat one another like brothers and sisters when we all got together. For long, many years, that was his ultimate objective. According to Janelle, part of Cody's anger was caused by his ideal of a large, happy family that was dissolving. She went on, I think maybe this is where we were headed. He just didn't want to admit it because he was starting to say things like, I'm tired of shouldering the work here, I'm tired of being the one who carries these relationships. The departure of Christine Brown was what really turned the round for the Browns, even though they had been struggling for years. Along with Janelle and Mary Brown, Cody's marriage has ended, and the 54-year-old is currently in a committed relationship with 45-year-old Robin. In an attempt to identify the cause of the issue, Mary stated on Friday's program that there has been a lot of speculations surrounding it. Was it the introduction of Robin to the family? Was it being made public? Was it relocating to Nevada? Mary, 52, remarked, you know, all these things that it could have been. I disagree that there was a single factor. I believe a number of factors contributed, as well as the fact that we kind of gave up on collaborating as a family. Look, we weren't without issues. Having those characteristics creates a significant dynamic, but we worked really hard together for the benefit of the kids, Janelle remarked separately. Mary subsequently stated that, in her opinion, polygamy can work and did work during the initial years of their family's existence. Speaking about his position, Cody stated, I don't really think that I believe in polygamy for me because it's just something that I failed at so badly. Look, we weren't without issues. Having those characteristics creates a significant dynamic, but we worked really hard together for the benefit of the kids, Janelle remarked separately. Mary subsequently stated that, in her opinion, polygamy can work and did work during the initial years of their family's existence. Speaking about his position, Cody stated, I don't really think that I believe in polygamy for me because it's just something that I failed at so badly. The reality TV personality shared the Instagram picture while on a vacation in the mountains with her spouse, David Woolley. Christine was mostly hidden from the chilly winter air. She covered her eyes with dark shades and wore a navy hooded sweater. The actress accessorized the ensemble with a slim-fitting pair of black denim pants that hugged her legs. David, her spouse, grinned at the camera as well. She was holding her arm around him. For the cooler weather, he dressed trousers and a casual sweater with a knitted hat. Truly Brown, the daughter of Christine and Cody Brown, also smiled for the picture. David stood beside her, his arm encircling her. True Truly Don sneakers and a big coat with stripes. As Christine relishes her new marriage to David, she has been losing weight. In November 2021, the celebrity and Cody, the father of her six children, called it quits. Since then, Christine has been improving herself, getting married again, and losing weight. On October 7, Christine and David were married in a dreamlike ceremony at Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab, Utah. TLC, the network that airs reality shows, just revealed that Christine and David will have a two-part wedding special. The network released a press statement saying, after years of struggling in her plural marriage to Cody, Christine Brown has met the love of her life, David Woolley. They are getting married after a year-long courtship, the announcement said. In front of Moab, Utah's stunning red cliffs, Christine receives the lavish traditional wedding of her dreams. Talk Back, Sister Wives Strengthens Manipulation The cast of Sister Wives gathered to see the season 18 launch in a special episode called Sister Wives, Talk Back. They also addressed queries and opinions from the audience. There were many, but the manipulation that was taking place was the one that really stuck out. Continue reading for further information. 
talking back encourages manipulation in Sister Wives. The Sister Wives cast has never done an episode watch and then a reaction video before. Additionally, they have not publicly addressed the criticism that their followers have leveled at them. This was almost an opportunity to make up for Sakanya Krishnan, the host, doing nothing during the tell-all. She made no accusations against Robin Brown or Cody. Cody and Robin were snuggled together on the couch as the three ex-wives watched from their respective homes. But the thing that stood out the most was how miserable Robin appeared the entire time. A Reddit thread was created to voice viewers' frustrations with the special. They mostly had problems with one lady, Robin. This was written by the OP. Observing sister wives respond to one other and Robin's interactions with Cody. I can now truly appreciate how skilled at manipulation she is. He bears full responsibility for his decisions and the outcomes, but she really is skilled at playing it flawlessly while pulling all the strings Robin indulged Cody in everything he had accomplished as a wonderful person. Then, Robin complimented him once more when he mentioned how Christine Brown had laughed when he had COVID. In addition to noticing this, Redditors also observed her sulking. Robin seemed very depressed. As though she has no business being there or having to respond to anything. I can't stand how anxious I become, it drives me crazy. Yes, exactly. How she kissed his behind regarding being ill COVID, yes, Cody, you accomplished everything and were on the verge of death, but you still conquered Mount Everest for your family. She seems to have spoken only what she felt would make her appear attractive, because the special episode aired on a different night and at a different time, many Sister Wives fans were disappointed that they were unable to watch it. The fact that it wasn't streaming added to the anxiety. Redditors did observe, though, that Cody Brown was mourning the love he had lost with Christine. Watching someone you used to love sit there and trash talk you is painful and hard, he said. Though he has always done so, he truly speaks from both sides of his mouth. In the end, supporters became irate with them for continuing to play the victim, something they had been doing for a number of seasons. Cody Brown of Sister Wives was always one for big dreams and hardly any plan of action. Between running his polygamous family out of Utah, moving to Las Vegas, selling his four perfectly placed houses, uprooting his family to Arizona, and never settling, Cody has a long list of failed ideas that often come back to haunt him. One of the biggest dreams of all was when he splashed out cash for a hunk of land he could call his own. In 2018, Cody and his family moved to Flagstaff, Arizona, for what we now know was because Robin Brown's oldest wanted to attend school there. In the midst of the chaotic move, Coyote Pass was born. During an earlier season, fans were introduced to the idea as Cody stripped down and jumped into the mud hole. Yet between his four wives, two rented out in town, and two bought homes, making the entire move very challenging.